Okay, what's up everybody? I'm trying a little salt here, but I think I, I think I finally did it. Um, trying to get the, the color match on the chubby, um, and it's been a pain in the butt. Uh, I tried a bunch of different random golds, but they weren't really gold. They're like, you know, metallic type gold, not this yellow, orangey type gold that I'm trying to match here. And, um, yeah, I bought like 10 different ones and labeled them one through whatever and then would take and do a background one color and a foreground another color, a background another color and a foreground another color. And the background would be sprayed and then I put this over just a test sample and spray the foreground color to try to get the pattern I'd like. So that's what I got and then I, the color still went right. So let's bring it in closer and show you what I got. Okay, so I had a bunch of different colors, and I, hopefully you can see it, um, did a background and a foreground, back and a foreground, back, five different samples here, six different samples, six different samples, <clears throat> to try to get the scale and the color I wanted to, to pop, to have a darker in the background and a lighter in the foreground, uh, but I tried all different patterns. Um, I liked this one, two in the background, four in the foreground. Um, it was able to really see the scales pop and everything, but the color just is like a gold, not working at all. So then I went online and found this, um, and I thought it was, oh man, I was like, man, this is super close, you know, it's really close, I gotta get that. And I get it home and realize it's an anodized coating which I don't really know what that was um, and I spray it on my board and it's like this clear goldy not very cool color I'm like that's not gonna work at all but then I just hit it with a little burst right here on the gold over top of the gold and it popped and was like really really close and I was like let's do it um, so I taped it off took that gold and sprayed it all over the pattern, half of the pattern, and I like this one. This one seems to be the best um, color match wise and green pattern. <clears throat> Excuse me, so that's what I'm going to do. Background color two, foreground color four, and then I will spray it with this clear gold to get it this yellow gold. And then once again, I was going around to all the different places and thought this was. A light gold with gold flakes. I was like, yeah, I can probably use that. And I get home and it's clear, just like lacquer with gold flakes. So I spray that over top of it to get colors. So that would be the the main spray paint. And then I made a template to airbrush all the um, little squiggles and stuff on. I found this on a sack of potatoes that I will have to wrap around and get it as tight as I can and it's literally just in this area right here so that's where I need it to be right over here and um, get it as tight as I can and that will be the second coat of paint it would be number four um, and I have to spray that really nice and cleanly and accurately in light sprays I think so it will not seep underneath of it right yep that's what I'm thinking so that's what we're going to do is spray it with the first coat. It's going to look like garbage, I think, after that, but um, that's what needs to happen to get it, get it to match this. So that's what you're about to see. Okay, so uh, really that first coat was just a base coat to get a few coats on there and to be the background for the scales. On the tail, um, it's nothing. It's just the main body color, main body color, and then blue squiggles and a lot of gold flake. So, and then the half, pretty much all of the back is of the brown. So what I'm going to do now is then put one coat of this on. I don't know if that's going to completely cover this or if it's going to kind of bleed, you know, look through. Uh, I mean, that's what I did with my sample. I, I don't know. So 
I can always repaint it, I guess. So this is what's going to happen next on the tail. Full coat of this. And then what's going to happen on the body is, like I said, I'm going to wrap it with the potato sack to get the scales. And then I'm going to take this and spray it over the um, plastic. And that's going to create my scales and have a dark background, which is this color, and a lighter foreground, which is this color. Um, and then i got to paint it one more time and then glitter. So, see what happens. Okay, it definitely changed the color. It's, super, it's definitely shiny now. Um, and a little more yellow. So, that's... Uh, That's that good. So now I'm going to try to put the mesh on. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell, but there's a slight difference in those two. So that'll be underneath. This will be on top. Next, I got to put another coat on this. So you'll see that before I start messing with this, I think. All right. Okay, so this is that anodized coating, which is like clear. So that's what's going to make, that's what's hopefully going to make um, it look like the yellow I need it to look like. This I'm just going to, definitely super light coat to this. Well, that that turned out pretty well. I like um, I like the color. It's looking pretty good. I was worried about. I had to literally do. It's gonna be like eight steps of painting, if not more. Um, eight stages of painting, if not more. So uh, I was a little concerned, but I went through the steps on my test samples, and it looks good. So fingers crossed. The hardest part is gonna be the scales, and then after that, um, is gonna be gonna be tricky. So. So I'll do another coat or two of that, and then this, like I said, is just like a gold glitter with um, just uh, uh, like a lacquer finish, clear finish. So that'll go over it, and then I'll have my buddy, once I'm done done, I'll have him um, spray it with a car finish. So it'll be like glass. All the glitters is gold. I got this mesh from a sack of potatoes at the grocery store. I like it. It's plastic. It's not cloth, so it's not going to see through. And as long as I get it tight and do light coats of this next color, I think I'll be just fine. There is one or two defects because it is a plastic. It's stretched on me, trying to take the plastic, the like uh, marketing cover off of it. It was glued on it in a few spots. And I'm able to hide one of those spots in the back of the um, lure because that'll get painted over with black. And then the other one is uh, pretty much in the fin, which worked out perfect because that'll get, you know, that doesn't need scales. I'll paint over that in a black color. So um, that's the next thing you know. I guess I'm going to wear these alligator type alligator clips, office clips or whatever. I'm going to use that to pinch it around and cinch it and get it as tight as I can all the way around this thing. So. Okay, I'm pretty pretty nervous here. Um, I got the mesh on. I didn't show that process. It was uh, just tedious to paint the butt. I taped off the section. I didn't want any overspray. I'll spray the mesh, let it dry for a few days, tape over that, and then respray this part. Uh, it's the same color, but I didn't want it to be crazy. I mean, I don't want scale patterns in certain areas. So. Um, and I decided to put the seam up the back because that would get covered with a uh, black spray paint, so or paint whatever I end up using. So next color is this um this other yellow that just hopefully makes a scale pattern. So I'm gonna try to be as gentle and as, as tender as I can here to um, 
spray this nice and straight and clean. So I'm going to try to spray it straight on on every 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 spray as possible, and I guess let it dry. I think I need to do two coats, but I'm really really nervous. I guess I can always respray it the one color and, and try it again. But all right, so here we go. Well, that's it. Got one spot right there that I may have oversprayed inside of it because it's not super tight to it, but um, man, I think I can get away with one coat. I don't know. Do I do two coats? Well, we'll see. That's one. That was a success, though. Okay, gosh, I'm going to show it. Here we go, I guess. I mean, it's pretty dry to the touch. I don't want to touch it. I'm going to take it off like this. Try to leave it hanging still. Uh, might be a fail. Might be a fail. Ah, don't do that. good enough so this is the back so that doesn't matter oh can you guys see it god i don't even know if you could see any of that hopefully you can see it that's pretty pretty awesome i got that spot there which i didn't care because i can um hide it with either the brown top or one of the uh swatches <laughs> awesome okay so now i'm going to really let this dry for at least a while, at least a day, and then I'll untape, untape this. Actually, I might untape it now, just because you know you never know how tape acts to stuff. So I'm gonna try to carefully untape this and um, let it dry for a while. Yeah, I'm gonna pull that off. Definitely pulling this off. Okay, so now maybe you can see the pattern a little bit better now that there's a line right there. Okay, so I'll take this off when it's super dry and then come back and uh, paint this the same color. Awesome. Killer bee. Hopefully you can see that. Alright, that's going to be the, the end of maybe this one part, so 